What up, everybody? It's Instructor Beats back here with your rounding lesson. As you can hear in the intro, we have our new rounding song out, so feel free to check it out if you're a student teacher or if you just like awesome reggae music, um, which I don't, you know, who wouldn't like that? So, today we're talking about rounding, and the, so the first thing I want to talk about is really what is rounding. So when we're talking about rounding, what are we talking about? Um, I'm going to get my eraser right here. So when we are talking about rounding, what we're doing is we are talking about taking a number and changing it to a more convenient value, right? So you might not want to know exactly that number. You might want to round it to a more convenient value, such as the nearest tens or hundreds or thousands place, okay? So to see an example, let's follow the dog and click on it. There we go. And so this is rounding story time, and this is to kind of conceptually understand what we're doing. So this is a number line. We start at 700 and the middle is 750 and then we have 800, okay? And we have a number 734 right there underneath our dog Sandy Sue. And we want to round this number, there we go, to the nearest, sorry, hundreds place. Sorry, hundreds place is what I meant to say. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little walk with Sandy Sue, okay? So Sandy Sue is 734. She's starting at her home, 700, and she's trying to walk to her friend Lucky's house at 800. And so Sandy Sue leaves the door, and she starts walking. Doo -doo 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 -doo. She stops to tinkle. And then she keeps going, and she stops at 734, when all of a sudden, out of the sky, comes green alien ships who are trying to zap her and take her back with her to their planet of the Monstars, wherever they came from in the movie Space Jam. And so Sandy Sue's like, ah! And she obviously takes a, another tinkle because she's nervous, and she's thinking to herself, oh my gosh, if I needed to go to my nearest hundreds place, would I go to 700 or would I run all the way to 800 if I was being attacked by aliens? And she can see that she's closer to her home because she's only at 734. She's not even halfway to 800. So she would run all the way back into the safety of her home. And we would say that 734, if you're rounding to the hundreds place, would round to 700 because that is the closest hundreds place for that. So that's a little visual diagram. Let's do one more because I like number lines. And so now we have Sandy Sue, who is number... 7,655, and we want to round this one, we want to round this number to the nearest tens place. See, I knew we were going to do the tens at some place, at some point. And let me move that and get my selector back out. And so all of a sudden, she's starting at her home, 7,650, and she's trying to go to her friend Lucky's house, which is 7,660, and she goes for a walk. And she leaves the door. Do, 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 do. This time, maybe she stops to uh, make a poop. And then she keeps going. And she gets exactly halfway between 7,650 and 7,660. When all of a sudden, out of the ground comes math zombies waking up and standing up. And they stand up like that. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Right? And they start to try to chase her because they don't have a zombie dog and they want a zombie dog for their family. And so Sandy Sue's like, oh my gosh, I'm right in the middle of 7,650 and 7,660. Where do I go? Well, Sandy Sue is halfway there. She's perfectly in the middle of them. So we say she might as well just go all the way to her friend's house so she can withstand the zombie apocalypse with a friend. So if you're halfway in between the numbers, Sandy Sue would continue to run. She'd jump over the zombie, maybe even jump on it, and then 7,655 would round to 7,660 because it is right in the middle, and so you might as well just keep going to your friend's house, right? So maybe you don't want to draw a number line, but now you're starting to understand what these are. Here is our shortcut for rounding that you'll see in our song. The first step is you want to underline the place value you are rounding to. Then you're going to draw an arrow from there to the digit on the right. If that number on the right is five or more, then you let it soar. If it's four or less, you let it rest. Everything to the left of the place value th falls through the floor. 
and then everything to the right becomes zeros, okay? So we'll put that right there. If you wanted to pause this and take notes, you can always feel free to do that. All right, so now let's use that shortcut to uh, help us round a couple examples so we can kind of see. So we're gonna round this number, 234,367, to the nearest hundred, okay? So I like to circle, you know, I've poured information that's gonna help me. So I'm gonna rewrite this, okay? And then I'm gonna change my pen color to red. And I'm gonna follow the steps we just talked about on the last page, right? So I'm rounding the nearest hundred, which means I need to underline my hundreds place. I'm gonna draw an arrow one digit to the right from there. And I'm gonna ask myself, okay, is that neighbor five or more, four or less? Well, it's a six, so it is five or more. So we say five or more, you let it soar. So the three is going to soar up one to a four. Everything to the left is going to fall through the floor. And then every, th every digit to the right becomes a zero. So if you were rounding 234,367 to the nearest hundred, it would be 234,400, okay? So let's look at another example right here. And I'm going to rewrite this. Let me get my pen out. Um, I'm going to circle. I am now rounding the same number, but I'm rounding it to the nearest thousands place. So I have 234,367. Okay. And I'm going to underline my place value. So I'm rounding to the thousands this time. So I'm going to underline my thousands place. I draw my arrow one digit to the right. And I ask myself, okay, is that five or more, four or less, and it's a three, so this time it's four or less, so we say four or less, you let it rest, and so the four is going to rest and stay a four, same thing now, everything to the left falls to the floor, and then everything to the right becomes a zero, so if we were rounding 234,000 to 300, uh, 234,367 to the nearest thousands, it would be 234,000, okay? So that's how you use the shortcut. You've seen some conceptual um, understandings with uh, a number line. As always, please check out our channel at Channel Instructed Beats on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe, and you can follow us on Instagram at, at Instructed Beats. Hope you guys enjoy the video and the song. Check out our other videos and songs, please. And as I said before, please subscribe. Instructed Beats, out!